everyone, welcome to my channel, Rue's Review, and it is another Wine Wednesday. So I have an interesting wine. It is more on the expensive side. It's about $21.99 at my local store, but it was a buy one, get one free, so I couldn't resist. This is called Buckshot Chardonnay, and it's from Lake County, California. Um, and it's a 2018, and it comes in this interesting shaped bottle. It's not your typical um, wine bottle, which I think is really cute. Uh, the color is a little, I don't know, not appealing, I guess. I mean, it is Chardonnay, it's supposed to be yellow. It's just a funny looking color yellow, if you know what I mean. Um, you can see the cork is very detailed and the back says ye old buckshot nestled deep in our vineyards stood a decapulated hundred year old skinning shed called the ye old buckshot. We loved the beauty and history of this old building. We restored it and converted it into a whiskey bar on our property called sheep's camp. The shack looks and feels like an old Western movie and it serves as a special place for us to gather and use bad judgment. <laughs> um, so this is produced and bottled by Sharon Ridge family of wines in nice California. Nice niece? I don't know. Anyhow, that's a really cool story. I wonder if anybody can just go and visit. That'd be pretty neat. Anyhow, I'm excited to try this. I really do love this cork and I'm hoping to incorporate it in my DIY project. A really nice scent to it. It is definitely more of a fuller body wine, but mm, it's got a really nice flavor, taste, texture. Seems a little more on the acidic side. Very nice. So I've read quite a few of these. I believe we're on K which is keg. Ever had wine on top? It's a modern day way of enjoying wine at your local retailers and restaurants. And we are all about it. At Wink, we make and distribute a selection of our wines in 20 liter kegs, mostly whites, rosés, and a select few reds that are made for early drinking. So that's interesting. And the last one I'll do today is light reds. Light red wine is simple red wine in a lighter body. While big wines like Cabernet Sauvignon can feel far too heavy to sip during warmer months, light reds on the other hand are the perfect alternative to whites or rosés. With enough flavor to stand up to complex protein flavors and a lightness that leads itself to a delicate seafood they can pair with a wide variety of foods from fish to meats, veggies to pasta. Awesome. So there we go. This is a really nice wine. This is definitely, I think, a piece for the shelves. Um, would I buy it if it wasn't buy one, get one free? No, I would not. Is it really crisp and delicious? It is. So, if you're one to spend a little more on wines, I would definitely try this one. I would be interested in trying maybe the Cabernet. So if it went on sale again, I probably would get maybe one Chardonnay and a Cabernet to try that out. Uh, they do have it in I know the Cabernet. I'm not sure if they have it in a Pinot Noir, but um, definitely Chardonnay and a Cabernet. 
So that is my Wine Wednesday. Cheers to you all. I just want to say thank you so much for being here and taking the time to view my channel. Also, I would love to hear your comments and tell me what you think. What is your favorite wine? And have you tried any new wines lately that you liked or didn't like? <laughs> so if you haven't already, I would love if you gave that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And guys, well, until next time.